black and fellow YouTubers. I guess I have to retry this vid because uh, QuickTime Player just wasn't having it. Now I need to do about it. One of my Chicago fans sent me a kick ass care package. It came with a bunch of goodies. I drank the uh, beer that was in the can that came with it. Shit, fucking tastes way good, yo. Yeah. Now I'm going to read you the note that came with the care package and want to do a drink combination for that fan who sent it. Give me a second. Find it. Sucker boss. Cause um yeah, that um ramen noodle combination made earlier. Mm-hmm. I'm digging that shiznit. I'm gonna find out that mixing spam with my noodles isn't as weird as I thought it was. There are actually some cultures that do that. Go figure, YouTube. Mm. This is that crazy ramen noodle hack that I made earlier. The um, Buffalo tuna ramen noodle, yeah. No freaking idea how it was gonna turn out. I'm gonna just throw it in there, like mix it all up, see how it turns out. Mix it up, and, yo. Using the spam that was sent to me by my last care package to make something crazy. Mm. Now I'm going to use the alcohol from this gear package to do a drink combination. You with me on this, YouTube? Yeah, buddy. This back in the fridge, I'll be right back. I got two more bottles of alcohol in the uh, fridge to review for later, but this also came with the care package. I've had this stuff, it's delicious. Cobra, love the channel. Here's a taste of the Midwest, mostly Chicago stuff. Hope you like the beer. I have what is known as a Chicago handshake. That's what's up. It is a shot of Merlot and Old Style. Merlot is our signature liquor. It is very bitter and separates the boys from the men. Also included is some Gadahara, spicy, oily, it's fucking delicious. Put it on pizza. Also, 
There's five dollars in there. Enjoy. Um, the uh, what was it? An old style beer. I drank that old style beer. That shit was good. Um, this was the care package that the fam mentioned. They said they forgot to put the five bucks in, but they donated it in super chat. Again, you don't have to give me money, but I appreciate the awesome care packages that my fans send me. So this is going back in the fridge. This stuff is delicious. I've had it. And uh, this note is going in my knickknack shelf here, right through there, just like that. Yeah, buddy. Now the liquor they speak of is, you guessed it, this stuff right here. Let's give it a plug. It's a Friday night. Let's get it right there. The Merlot, or Merl, Merlot, not sure how you pronounce it. This stuff is really fucking bitter. I took like two shots of it. The initial first taste, I was like, that's really good. And then I swallowed it, and I was like, oh, that's rough. And then after I gave the, the burn a second to pass over, I was like, okay, you know, I can get down with it. This is better than Black Velvet, to be honest. Black Velvet is fucking disgusting. Fuck black velvet whiskey. No. 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 Just no. Give me some fucking Jameson or some goddamn Jack Daniels, but fuck black velvet whiskey. That shit's nasty. And I've had too many bad experiences with it. Other people getting drunk on it around me, etc., etc. No. So I'm going to take two more shots of this straight. And we're going to do what I call a Chicago Cobra. We're going to mix the more, this stuff with this stuff. We're going to mix the uh, Malort liqueur with the Mountain Dew. Maybe the sweetness from the Mountain Dew will take away from that bitter taste. This is what separates the boys from the men, as they say. Well, alrighty then. Let's take two shots of this shit raw. Uh, and see how I do with the Mountain Dew. And we got some of this delicious Dark Lord to chase it with. This thing was a bitch and a half to open with all the wax. But I got her open and tried a couple sips. Not too shabby. Kind of reminds me of coffee and black licorice. Mmm. <clears throat> Very dark beer, by the way. So, whew. we'll pour some of that dark beer in here. So, yes, I did enjoy the beer. That uh, was good, good, good shit. This is, of course, the beer they were talking about, the uh, old style. I already drank it. Can's been crushed. Quick time player's been picky, but that's all right. That's all right. We need a shot glass, don't we? Yes, we do. Alright, so here we go. We have ourselves a shot glass right yonder. And uh, this is what separates the boys from the men, as they say. Initially, not my first pick. But once you get past the burn and the really bitter aftertaste after you swallow it, it's not half bad. This, I will say, is an acquired taste. But when fans send you booze, are you really going to bitch? Not really, YouTube. Not really. And being as it's Friday, we're going to do ourselves a shot. There we go. That's full. 
No, I've been drinking a little bit because it's the weekend, so I might have to, like, piss. But we'll do that here in a second. Let's just do it right now so I can make room for more liquor. Oh, <laughs> fuck it! And I end up reviewing the other beers they sent me too in one night. Why not? Better. Oh no, we got some soap over here. I can wash my bloody hands. Try them off. One second, you two. Oh, that's better. I had to piss like a bloody racehorse. All righty then. Salute. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Holy shite. I don't know what your whiskers. God damn. <sighs> Fuck, dude. I don't know if I could do it. I could do another one if I wanted to, but I'm good on that. I'm going to put some of that Marl Art into a uh, mixed drink. And uh, let's see how I do. Maybe save some of that Dark Lord for in the cup for it. <sighs> God damn. I might do another shot though. Fuck it. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. I'll do another shot of it. I mean, like I said, you know, the uh, the bitter taste after you swallow it, it's a bit rough. But once you get over it, it's like, oh, something to drink on, dude. And then before I take that shot, make some room in my cup here. Mm. Mm-hmm. This, however, this Dark Lord beer, that's good shot, yo. That's bloody good. Bloody good. <sighs> yeah, buddy. I'm kind of digging this hat, and so are the fans. I'm going to keep rocking it.
But you can see right there the hair starting to grow back in underneath it. I could don't really don't give a shit about the widow's peak, to be quite honest, if the rest of it grows back. Cool. Ew, I'm gonna blow my nose, man. I'm a little stuffed up. Hold up. I don't plan for these kinds of things to happen. They just do. Ah. I mean, you literally, I'm going to wash my hands again after blowing my nose, but you literally, the new episode of South Park was fucking funny because Stan Marshall's all singing death metal. I'm like, dude, that's sick. And then they, Stan Marsh and his buddies at South Park called the band Crimson Dawn, which is even funnier because Casper Wyoming has a spot called Crimson Dawn up by Bear Trap Mountain. Ooh, that's my favorite place to visit. Oh yeah, Crimson Dawn's a beautiful area to visit. I'll tell you what. It's an area, local area in Casper. If you don't know, then you don't know. I this will be the fourth shot of this straight. Oh wee, this shit's rough. Took two shots of it earlier and I was like, God damn, dude. Hell. <coughs> oh, didn't puke, but there you go. Oh, we that's rough. There's shot number four, motherfucker. Oh, god damn, dude. Yeah, I fuck with it. It's not bad. But that bitter taste only hits you when, you know, that's some rough shit, dude. Let me uh, finish the rest of this try out some of the other beers that were sent. We'll come back to that drink combo here in a second. But this is going back in the fridge. Uh, Michael Baldwin, homie of mine, came over and uh, showed me one of his new guns that he got and uh, wanted me to film a video for his channel, so I helped him with that. That SKS is pretty sick. 
Now, if you saw the shooting video on my channel, you already know what's up. Just good, clean, wild, and fun. Keep your gun empty unless you gotta use it. That's what I'm fucking saying. That's gun safety 101. That actually saved my ass, believe it or not. When the cops swatted me because of that stupid asshole troll. They didn't take my gun because it was empty. They were like, why the fuck are we here? This guy's not a threat to the community. He's autistic. Are you kidding me right now? I'm going to pour the rest of that beer into this here copper mug. Fuck the nicotine fit I was having earlier. I went to a friend's house and forgot my tobacco pipe and I'm sitting here having this little freak out about it. Like, fuck that shit, dude. That's been happening less and less. Like, I've been trying to work on it, you know. <sighs> like, you're craving some pipe tobacco and then your tobacco pipe and your tobacco are at home, you know. It's like, oh, shit. So, eh. It's alright, though. This Dark Lord beer is delicious. And look at that sick fucking beer logo. You got some vampire looking, Viking demon looking. Ah, dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh, one second. Sad day it's empty, but that's alright, because we got plenty of beer to review, so I ain't fucking tripping about it right now. I got two more bottles of beer to review in the fridge. Like, I could do it all in one sitting, because it's the weekend, and because this is the kind of content that people like to see. Like, oh look, Cobra getting shit-faced on camera, that's nothing new. <sighs> But, um, I may end up saving them for another video so I have more content to produce. We'll see how I'm feeling. Because if I feel like I've got a good enough buzz, then I'll stop drinking for the evening. That's how I roll. If I feel like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good, right? You know what I'm saying? That's called being a responsible drinker. Yep. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. That Dark Lord beer kind of gives off a distinctive sweetness mixed with coffee and like black licorice. I let my homie, tr I let Michael Baldwin try a shot of that shit earlier of that um, Dark Lord beer, and he's like, "Bro, it tastes like black licorice." And I'm like, "Now, now that he mentioned it, I'm like, yeah, it does kind of taste like it." Someone commented, now you need to get a bolo tie. That spike collar don't look right with the hat. I'm like, that's your opinion. I'm rocking my own style, so you got a problem with it. Kiss my white Asperger's. I 
Everyone's a fucking goddamn critic anymore. It's ridiculous, YouTube. Ridiculous. This class is ridiculous. Ugh. Nice Harry Potter reference. Nerd. Uh. <laughs> uh. Harry Potter kicks ass. What the fuck's your problem? Oh. 420 points for Slytherin. Okay, that's... Definitely the weekend, though, YouTube. Feeling good on a Friday Now, YouTube, who the fuck am I to argue when fans send me cool shit in the mail? Yeah. Not to mention my family owns a ranch in Gillette, Wyoming, so... You know... I take pride in that. I'll drink to that. Cheers. I tell you what, though, that scepter I'm working on that you've seen snippets of on YouTube is looking pretty sweet. Not really sure how it's going to turn out, so I'm kind of playing around with this first one and giving it away as a gift. So, but so far it's looking pretty sweet. Like, I made a good investment with the wand supplies. Ah. Uh. Oh, bloody hell, that's good beer. I'm getting my tactical soap on Monday. And on top of that, I should be getting like some five, six hundred dollars worth of YouTube money. Hopefully, if not tomorrow, at the end of the month at least. So I know for a fact I'm going to have a badass Halloween. There's no doubt about that. Halloween to goths is like Christmas for Christians. Really, that's the fucking truth of it. <laughs> uh, Halloween's my favorite holiday. I do enjoy it. It's a marvelous time. And if the weather's good enough, I'll do a Ouija board session in the local graveyard with all respect to the dead, of course. So if you want to see a Halloween Ouija board session in a graveyard that's rumored to be haunted, hit that like button. I'm going to do it anyway just because, A, hey, why not? I brought my Ouija board into the graveyard before it's nothing new. 
The pinchette didn't move, but you could just feel the energy circling around me. And it was kind of cool. I tossed some tobacco on the ground. I said, some of the spirits, I come here with respect. You know. Now bringing your Ouija board to a graveyard is super dangerous, but I've done it. I know when I get my YouTube money, I'm buying a smoker's ashtray for outside. And if the first one goes over really well, I want to buy another one for the other side of the building. People talk all the shit they want, but I'm like, secretly you wish fans would send you booze. Don't lie to me. Yeah, buddy. Now when I get my tactical soap on Monday, hopefully, whenever I get my tactical soap, you know I'm going to do an official commercial for it. I've been promoting it super hard, especially with my, uh, hey, you want to smell like a ladies man video? Doesn't matter what brand what flavor scent you're using, tactical soap's gonna make you smell like a ladies man. That's no bullshit. No, I actually got a pretty good buzz going right now. And, uh, I can always save the drink combo and other beer reviews for a later video. Nothing wrong with that. Right now, I'm feeling pretty buzzed. Yeppers, you already know you two. Oh. How I love to play guitar. It's a wonderful instrument. 
and just screwing around on the guitar earlier on while watching me play that guitar, that twang guitar earlier for that Taps of the Soap plug that I did. And um, I was liking the way it sounded. I was like, yo, it's fast, it's shreddy, it's metal as Yeah, buddy. Kick off the steel toes for the evening. Yeeha, YouTube. I mean, bolo ties are your thing. That's cool, but I'm not going to wear one. Just because I'm going to rock a bandana with the spike collar and then a hat to go with it. It's a nice little. I'm digging this look, yo. It's like, what's up? How you fucking doing? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Dude. Horses snorting fire across the yellow sky. Yippee ki yay, yippee ki yo. Ghost riders in the sky. So if you want to see me do a review of the other two beers, uh, hit the like button. There we go. Yeah, I got a pretty good buzz going for the uh, evening. So I want to save those beers for another review. You know, I know what's up. And when I do those reviews, we'll do a uh, drink combination. Yeah, buddy. I'm receiving this year Mountain Dew for the drink combo. You already know what's up.
क्या पड़ी That'll wet your fucking whiskers. Anyways, tubes, thanks for watching the fan mail video. Yeah. Catch you all later.